Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, welcome. On my channel, I never promised you tutorials of best practices. I just said I would bring you along with me. This is the cupboard that I have been putting my 4th of July stuff in. All my red, white, and blue, anything patriotic, I'm here in the US. I've been piling it in there. Today, I am in the middle of smashing a red, white, and blue pad that Not Too Shabby Shop was kind enough to send me. But I decided I wanted to make a bunch of really patriotic cards. It's actually Memorial Day weekend. I have no idea when you'll see this, but I do want to make some 4th of July or some, I don't know, something like that. And I have a friend that really likes that stuff. So I decided on a Sunday morning when my room is already a mess and I'm supposed to be somewhere in like two hours to dig into the red, white, and blue. And I thought you might want to come along with me. So what I did was I set up a table and let's see what happens. I do not make videos like this to encourage you to buy more. I make videos like this because I know it's fun to see what people have in their stash and what they've acquired. This is junk journaling stuff, so I'm going to set this off. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a July daily yet this year, but that's something that I've done quite a few years. I might take this year off. Not sure yet. I'm feeling a little behind in the craft room. But what we're looking for is sentiments. And in my Christmas and holiday, you know, winter holiday stuff, I have sentiments gathered in here. Not so much. Oh my gosh, look at these gorgeous napkins. Gorgeous. Do you think she cut these with those fancy scissors before she sent them to me? Or did they come that way? I don't know. Okay. So also do not send me any red, white, and blue stuff. Janie, yeah, I'm talking to you. I have no shortage whatsoever of all sorts of cute little stuff. Ooh, fabric. See, that would be super cute on cards, but I don't need it today. It would also be great in a junk journal. Oh, I was foiling and playing with stars. Okay, this packet looks promising. This is, I don't know what the category was. I think it was red, white, and blue, and I was going to put it away in the other room, so I kept shoving in here. Oh, turns out there were quite a few pads. It's a good thing that it's May, isn't it? And I'm doing this because it's good to keep me from shopping. I remember last year I said, I don't need any more red, white, and blue. And then Noni went to the sale at Craft Warehouse. And then I decided I did need some more. So I have these two also. I don't know that those really have any sentiments in them. You know how sometimes they have, oh, they do have some in them. But let's try and resist the urge to get into brand new pads. Let's try and use some stuff up. Oh, we could pull out this washi. Somebody happy mailed this to me. These are super cute. These are more vintage looking though, I think. I'm thinking these are junk journals. Except for like this. This would be a great, oh, that's cute. It would be a great background layer, you know, for a sentiment or something, this one too, on a card, but I want to save them because they're actually journaling cards and I can make a background out of anything. Okay, here we go. Is this the one? Oh, this goes with those paper pads. So let's put it over there. Except <laughs> one of you happy mailed these to me and I put them in there to keep them safe. So maybe we should pull those out. You know, sometimes the little tiny embellishments can get lost or beat up. So I was protecting them. Uh, okay. Might have gone a little crazy with Let Freedom Ring. <laughs> Maybe I should make July dailies. Like some simpler ones, not too crazy, and put them on my Etsy shop, which I don't think has anything in it. This is red, white, and blue, but it's not patriotic. I think I used this before, and it felt kind of forced for me. It has, like, lobsters and lighthouses. I don't know. I think it's more East Coast beachy. Okay. Again, July Daily stuff. Oh, I love these puffy stickers. Love these. Let's put those in our... We might play with them today. See, I bought a stash of them. I had some that I think I got it Tuesday morning. Then I used them all up. And then when I finally found them online, I bought them. I actually ordered something online that wasn't just from Amazon. 
Oh, see, here's ones in here that say Happy Independence Day, Happy Fourth of July. You can only use so many of those when you're making a July daily. I mean, I've given up and I now put, oh, those are cute. I got these in like a creative reuse. I think it was a page thing or something. I don't know. But I do put the Happy Fourth of July on almost every random page in my book now because I end up with so many more than just one for the fourth in a July daily. Oh, we could use up some of these stickers too. Now, I don't know how these Echo Park, or these are photo play. I don't know how well these are going to go with the Not Too Shabby, but Not Too Shabby has a lot of different blues and a lot of different reds, which really makes it a great paper pad to mix and mingle things in. This is the paper pad that I'm working on smashing. So you can see I have all sorts of reds and blues in there to pull from. And I've made a bunch of videos about this paper pad, but I'm a little obsessed with it. And I think that's okay. This stuff will definitely not go like the vintagey. I'm not feeling that. Again, more of that authentic collection. Do you buy things and then go, why? Now, in my defense, it was that Tuesday morning. This would make a really, really good uh, beach journal. And as I say that, I'm thinking, huh, you know what would have been smart? Is if I would have had some of this in the beach journal bin. But I didn't. I had it in red, white, and blue. So when I made all those beach journals, I didn't even think about it. Okay, more stickers. I wasn't really thinking stickers when I came looking today. Ooh, I like this stuff. Put that over there. But it'll work. Now, this is this set of stickers. So maybe I don't want to pillage this too much because it looks like all I've done is open this up and steal two stickers out of it. If I have a bunch of the paper left and I feel like it might be a little tricky to match, this is photo play and their reds may not be exactly the same as Echo Park. I have tons of Echo Park and you can mix and match Echo Park a lot and Cartabella. I don't have as much photo play and like the blue in here is a really dark blue. This is amazing. So I think I'm gonna put those stickers with it and leave it for a while. This paper I have a ton of. Well, this must be a scrappy, weird leftover thing. <laughs> Do you do that where you put stuff together and you go, well, I just need to clean off the counter. This one I love. It has sheet music and blue and it has quilts. This Liberty collection I have done a bunch with. I'm sure I have videos of it over the years. If you need help finding videos, it's easier as the channel owner to find and search than it is for you guys, I think, sometimes. But, I mean, it has all kinds of good stuff. So I'm not going to get into that one this year, probably, because I probably need a break from it. I also would guess there's some of those cut-aparts in here. Okay, very vintage. This is Liberty. Keep that together. Oh, here's some. Okay, so I'm putting the journal-y stuff right there. That's vintage-y Liberty. Oh, look. I don't know how this came into my life exactly. I wonder if I got this at Whimsies in Beaverton. Oh my gosh. Or did one of you send this to me? This is gorgeous. See, this is why you should always look through your stash really, really, really well before you go shopping. Oh my gosh. This would make some good July dailies. What if I made some July dailies that were more like my scrapbook paper style? And then I did lots of like tip outs or envelope places so we could get to 31 spots, but it wasn't giant. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I mean, if we don't use some of this paper, we can't buy more. We just we won't have enough room. It's messy in here. These are cute. Somebody gave these to me. Very cute. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this pile over here of stickers and sentiments and weird things that I put in a thing from last year. All the little items. Ooh, maybe some of these too. These are uh, thicker, so they're puffy foam stickers. They're blue on one side, and these are 
perfectly fine to mail. They're not so thick that you will have to pay extra postage or have problems. Same with puffy stickers. They're fine too. Okay. I hope you enjoyed watching me make a giant mess. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> we have another bin. I seriously thought we were done. I mean, that seemed like enough to keep making cards, didn't it? What is in here? Oh, this one's not red, white, and blue. This one's a collections for me stash bin that I forgot was down there. And it's labeled on the front. I just got confused. So we're good. Whew. Okay. I do not need more red, white, and blue. I also am not promising you this is all of it, but it is the section. There was a tub of washi in the cupboard too, but that's not all red, white, and blue. It's just washi. Okay. Whew. Got a bit overwhelmed there for a minute. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to go through your stash before you go shopping because you never know. And you might be keeping your beachy stuff and your red, white, and blue. So maybe sometimes having categories isn't really the best idea. And you should just go through everything before you go shopping. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.